I thought I'd do a flip through of one of my sketchbooks that I took with me on um, my travels this summer. Uh, I took three sketchbooks. This is the littlest of them. Uh, this is the Epsilon book, a small book from the Stillman and Burns series of books. Um, I wanted to flip through this one particularly because I uh, really, really enjoyed working in a little book and working very simply so this book became sort of my go-to book to pull out anytime i had a few minutes made a big difference to how i sketched this summer of course i did have more i did in watercolor pen and ink and in mixed media in other books um, and those will appear on my blog they're on my instagram but i really enjoyed this little book that came out uh whenever I could find a moment and it captures those little moments that never make it into bigger sketches. You'll see it's you know random stuff that doesn't mean much to somebody else it's when I was waiting somewhere a pastry I had uh, but really it's the little stuff the stuff that if I had a bigger big book and I had had to use wet media I might wonder if I have the time or if it's worth pulling out to do that sketch, never happened with this book. I could pull it out if I had 30 seconds, if I was on public transport. Um, I could sketch in it with just one pencil and my pen in hand. Um, and really that's what I use the most in here. Um, my Sailor Fude pen and a black one pencil was sort of my base kit. And if I could have one or both of these on hand, uh, there was a sketch. This might be one of the rare, rare ones where I used wet media watercolor as a base. Even then, it's just a light wash. And as you can see, this book is, uh, it can handle wet media, uh, but a smooth paper like the Epsilon, it, um, it's not like there's any magic with the watercolor. It's just good for a watercolor base, but mostly I was just drawing in this book. Um, I think it's a good example of a page of what I do in this book that I wouldn't do if I felt I had to have a bigger book I pulled out to sketch. Uh, little moments recorded in there. I met an urban sketcher while I was on the subway in Paris. Hi, Magdi. Magdi tapped me on the shoulder and asked me, if I was Suhita, that was nice to meet a random urban sketcher I've never met before. This book was also great for sketching in museums. Um, since it's dry media, for the most part, there was no issue pulling out a pen pencil. I drew this only in pen and pencil. Um, the colors are vivid. I remember them. I added them in crayon much later. More little sketches, sketches record, recording like nothing when we had to walk into a store to buy a shirt for my kid because he got bird poop all over himself. Pages like this common in my sketchbook if I start something and I realize quickly it's going nowhere. I will turn the page and start over since it's not supposed to be a beautiful piece you flip through um, and you know look at lovely spread after lovely spread. I don't care about the occasional dud. There's more than the occasional dud in my sketchbooks. More sketching on trains. I think it's a great example of what I could do because I was sketching small and sketching dry media. Just that. Standing or sitting. One stop or two is all it took for me to add. You know a little bit of sketching if i was out on the street and there was time to pull out more media colored pencil does the trick here but it's all very very simple and very quick this was usually how crowded it was i was looking at things between other things uh, and i wanted to record that I also did stick in little things from all the museums I went to because I never remember names later. Really, really handy uh, sketch kit for most museums. Almost nobody has an issue if you pull out a pen pencil and are standing around with a little book. I've had issue with that in 
the US, but not once in Europe was I told to put away my book with my pencil. If I have more time, color pencil comes out sometimes. This is one of my favorite sketches, sketching memories from the trip. This was a roller brass band that was walking through, actually going in and out through a, a farmer's market, playing their music while rollerblading up and down. I followed them and sketched. There's a little um, Instagram reel on my um, Insta page that uh, has more of the sketch. Watercolor added later. I didn't add it right then. But these are all done on location. This is Musée de Orsay. Um, and yes, I stood behind the crowd and did this with my pen pencil and a couple of colored pencils. More from that museum. Manny's Lilies, same museum. Again, colored pencil only. A half done page I have no idea why some things I remember well some things not so well more travels more sketches this is one of the longer ones I enjoyed on my first day in Amsterdam and a good example of a sketch that probably means nothing uh, from the quality of the sketch or to anybody else. Um, I just want to record that I have never, ever been to this Rembrandt statue in Amsterdam without seeing a pigeon on his head. And I've been there a few times now. So there it is. That little thingy is a pigeon. Um, probably isn't a pigeon to anybody but me. But um, I always smile when I come back to that sketch. And then a good example of how else this is super useful to me. This is on a walking tour, so you're not stopping. It's mostly notes. It's little bits of drawings. Um, I would say more sketch noting than sketching at all, but uh, I really enjoy doing that. Uh, it makes me remember things better. It also makes me remember things I would have forgotten otherwise. This was a super interesting tour in Berlin of the... Cold War bunkers in the city. More notes from that same tour. More stuff that uh, I wouldn't remember if I didn't have notes of. Like the mint green rooms in the underground bunker because apparently mint green calms people down. Random little sketches from the train, a face I remember well because I drew it. Lots of sketches from waiting over dinner because that's when I pause and pull out my book. Lots of sketches from train rides. And it's not so much about the particular view as uh, a memory of the fact that there were gorgeous views as we, um, as we took trains around the around between countries actually so this whole trip was my kids and me we were always on the go so sketching like this was super useful because i was not stopping for a 30 minute sketch or something like that often it was just where i was a memory of a beer another train ride breakfast a museum I loved. I love Scheele. So it was fantastic to see so much of Scheele at the Leopold. Um, my kids at the end of the museum. Um, I think another page that's more sketch notes than anything else. Uh, watching this man on the street teach a spinning class. Really a record of everything he said. It was Quite a fantastic uh, little session to watch. More train rides. Even more train rides, this time without a seat, sitting on the steps of the train, along with a whole bunch of exchange students I gather from the accent. Uh, same too. 
one pencil, one pen, and a long time on the steps. Interesting faces. And then a layover in Montreal that was supposed to be two hours and turned into two days because a storm and a tornado hit the area. So these were my sketches from the airport when I still thought I was going to catch a connection back home. Again, colored pencil, pen, pencil. And one last sketch before we came home. The back of the book is sealed off just because I have work notes in there that have nothing to do with sketching. And again, my favorite book from the trip, a little, little book that could go with me anywhere, the Epsilon sketchbook and these two tools. That was my main sketch kit.